In this Illustrator tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to save your Illustrator file as a JPEG. Now, a JPEG image does not include transparency. Just so you know, you're going to have a white background if you have any sort of transparency in your document. If I wanted to save my Illustrator file as a JPEG, I can go up to File, down to Export, and I can do Export for Screens or Export As. We'll go to Export for Screens first. Export for Screens gives you two tabs, your artboards or your assets. Now, in the Asset Export panel, you can basically take objects in your design, right Right click them and add them here you would see those and you can export them individually on artboards we're going to see all the artboards in our design and we can export them all at once or individually as well on the right hand side here you can see your selection of artboards you could include the bleed you can also export the full document now this means everything on and off your artboards you can see I have a couple pieces off the artboard here so it's just going to export a JPEG of literally everything inside my Illustrator document probably not one you'll ever use but the artboards you can export those you can select where they save whether you open it after export you can create subfolders with different scales and formats and then you can select your formats down here so this scalar here you can choose if you wanted just 1x like the size that it is in your document just select that you can add a suffix and you can also change the file format you can see other formats here jpeg 100 would be the best quality jpeg that you can export you can add a prefix and then you simply export your artboard now lately I've actually been creating the thumbnails for this channel here in Illustrator and exporting them as JPEG. The way that I do it, if this was my thumbnail, I would go up to file, down to export, and instead of export for screens, I just use really quick export as. The export as almost pulls up in like this save dialog box. You can see I even did the gradient one here. I can adjust the name up here, but then select the format. It might start on PNG and I can go down to JPEG. I can use artboards and I should click use artboards or else this will export the full document like we showed before. So I would click use artboards. I would select my artboard or a range of artboards or all and then I would hit export. Now after I hit export, it's actually gonna pull up some JPEG options. It's gonna let me do different modes, whether it's RGB or CMYK. I could even do grayscale. I can select the quality. I keep mine on nine because thumbnails on YouTube are only two megabytes and 10 would give me a larger file than two megabytes. So mine's always on nine, but I would use the maximum if you were trying to save the highest quality JPEG. Then there's some compression modes here. This resolution is actually kind of the scale. If you have like, let's say a 1920 by 1080 artboard, which is what we have in this document. If I export it at 72 pixels per inch, that's going to export as 1920 by 1080. If I up this, it's gonna just about double the size and almost triple the size on high or maybe even more. You can choose whether to export larger JPEGs here and that's just gonna up the pixel count in the image. Now remember, JPEGs are raster files, so they are gonna be pixel-based. They will no longer be vector. But this is the way that I export JPEGs every day here in Illustrator.